The two key drivers of our future is science on the one hand and technology that delivers solution. We adapt the pH value of the water mm -hmm. and then the water runs into our big storage tanks. We are here in September and it's uh, 31 degrees. That's something changing. Everyone has to rethink how to work, how to design the parts for our new generation of cars. The heart of it is the battery. The whole construction is a flying construction. What you can experience now is our premium platform electric. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a hell of a ride. I love this car. We have to fight every day. We have to improve. We Live Diversity is actually one of the core principles that we have within the Audi Group. Hello, my name is Sebastian Copeland. I'm a polar explorer, photographer, specialist of the ice and the polar regions. And right now I'm combining those disciplines on a research expedition to northern Greenland, just a few hundred kilometers from the North Pole. And every time I come back to places like this in the Arctic or Antarctica, I see the collateral and remote impact of human activities. This is ground zero for climate change, affecting the biodiversity, the cultures, and melting the ice faster than ever. So what can be done about it? Our photovoltaic project actually is one of the biggest photovoltaic rooftop power plant in Europe, and uh, it lays on uh, 168,000 square meters, uh, which is uh, quite a huge area. But I think what we should focus on is how much time do you really spend to reach your target. So it's not only about range, it's also mm -hmm. about charging performance. In this series on environmental, social and governance, ESG for short, we'll take a deep dive into what could be a game changer. So here we stand on the ground of an old refinery. We washed more than 600,000 tons of soil here with a big washing machine. Can a car maker be sustainable? Yeah, we get the wastewater from the process from Audi, also from the paint shop from Audi, and we can clean it and then create a circle and give it back. The main question of the project is how to plant future forests to bind as much carbon as possible. Audi wants to steadily increase the amount of secondary materials over the coming years in the Audi fleet. And we think in circles. So we are using geothermal energy for heating purposes, nearly 90,000 megawatt hours per year. We work with more than 14,000 direct suppliers in more than 60 countries. They have a huge potential. If all of them work more sustainably, we can achieve a lot more good for people and the environment. So what are ESGs and why is this trend taking the world over? Why has Audi made this a core guiding principle and corporate priority? Biodiversity, as you can see here, is an important pillar of our environmental strategy Mission Zero. Without biodiversity, there's no life on Earth. This is where all the energy is, right? <laughs> so, when you talk about CO2 emissions or diversity and inclusion, for those people, you can still say, well, listen, things are changing out there. Well, I think you have a second career there, Rudiger. <laughs> <laughs> The Audi Environmental Foundation, as you may know, is a subsidiary from Audi since 2009. We can no longer sit back and watch this unfold. We must act, educate and inform. The water circles from here, from the robots up to the rooftop, where we cool it down in these hybrid cooling towers. I'd like to invite you to join me as I go behind the scenes and speak with experts about decarbonization. We economize water in our production. That's why we use this beautiful technology here from the membrane bioreactor. This is really technology for the environment. That's good. <laughs> Electrification. For example, use phase. The main hotspot of CO2 emissions is what is the energy that you're charging your vehicle with. We're really utilizing used car batteries from our internal testing fleet, hmm. taking them out of the cars, and then we're reassembling them here into one big battery storage system. Circularity. Through the three main pillars, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Data topics. 
Uh, we at Audi AG, we have a very robust data protection compliance system in place. Human rights and people. In alignment with the corporate values, we are committed to the respect for human rights. Now using and working with suppliers means that we have to set expectations and we have to take responsibility in order to ensure that the risks are actually mitigated or avoided. Diversity, for one thing, is about bringing different perspectives into the company. Inclusion is about welcoming that diversity. I think that humans need to help nature regenerate in order to turn this imbalance around. I love taking pictures of icebergs because they are forever changing. They're born, they travel, they interact, and then they melt to the sea, feeding life to the next cycle of icebergs. It's beautiful. Come check out what Audi is doing in our series on ESGs. Come along, let's get inspired. You know, Sebastian, we want to be engineers of optimism.